In this question, we're going to take a look at one of the applications of Newton's law of cooling and warming. In this question, a dead body was found within a closed room of a house where the temperature was a constant 70 degrees Fahrenheit. At the time of discovery, the core temperature of the body was determined to be 85 degrees Fahrenheit. One hour later, a second measurement showed that the core temperature of the body was 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Assuming that the time of death corresponds to T equal to zero, and that the core temperature at the time was 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, determine how many hours elapsed before the body was found. So let us begin, everybody. According to Newton's law of cooling, we know that the rate of change of the temperature with respect to time is equal to K times T minus T sub M. As you remember, T M is the ambient temperature and it is constant value. K is also called the constant of proportionality. So the rate of change of the temperature with respect to time is K times T minus T sub M. So how do we solve this problem? This is a separable differential equation. You can write it as dt divided by T minus T sub M. On the right-hand side, you have K times dt. Now take the integral of both sides and apply what you learned in calculus. On the left-hand side, the integral of dt divided by T minus T sub M is nothing but ln of absolute value of t minus t sub m. On the right-hand side, the integral of k dt is kt plus c. Now we are going back to algebra. This can be written as e2 ln of absolute value of t minus tm. And on the right-hand side, you have e2 power kt plus c. But remember that exponential function and ln, they are inverse of each other, so you can get rid of them you end up with absolute value of t minus t sub m. On the right-hand side, you have e to kt times e to c. Well, the absolute value gives you plus minus sign on the other side. Well, you can write this guy as absolute value of t minus tm equals to c e to power kt, and plus minus c is basically can be written as c sub 1. So c sub 1 is nothing but plus minus C. So basically, T minus Tm is equal to plus minus C e to power kT, and then bring Tm to the other side, and rename plus minus C, C1, and then you have T equals to Tm plus C1 e to power kT. Setting T at time zero to be T sub zero, we can write C1 to be T sub 0 minus Tm. Remember that if you plug in 0 here, it becomes e to power 0 over 1. So T minus Tm becomes C1. And then at time 0, because T is equal to 0, let us call this guy T sub 0, the initial temperature. C1 is T sub 0 minus T sub so you can build the mathematical model, the mathematical formula for the temperature. The temperature at time t is equal to Tm, the ambient temperature, plus C1, which is now written as T sub 0 minus Tm times e to power kT. So again, this is your C sub. Okay, very good. We build the model that we need. We have some information. So let us plug those in and do the algebra and finally solve the problem. T sub zero is equal to 98.6. The temperature at time zero is 98.6 degrees. And Tm, which is the ambient temperature, is 70 degrees. So if you plug those into the equation that you have. First of all, notice that what you have here. You have 85 degrees. It is, at the time of discovery, the core temperature was 85 degrees. So T, 
the temperature is 85 degrees. And on the other side, you have Tm, which is the ambient temperature, 70 degrees plus 98.6 minus 70 e to the power Kn. So we are assuming that, for example, T is equal to N. Then since we have one hour later, it helps us to write this as N plus 1. Take a look at what I'm talking about here. It says after one hour, the temperature becomes 80 degrees, right? On the other side, you have 70, which is the ambient temperature. It is fixed, plus T sub 0, which is again fixed. The initial temperature, 98.6 minus the ambient temperature, e to the power K n plus 1. Why n plus 1? Because it says, hey, after one hour. So if this is the initial hour n, then n plus 1 is one hour later. Now we're going to do a little bit of algebra. We're going to bring 70 to the other side and simplify as much as we can. Here, if you bring 70 to the other side, you get 15. And then the subtraction between 98.6 and 70 is 28.6. We have e to the power kn. So 28.6 e to the power kn is equal to 15. We're going to substitute this guy here. Bring 70 to the other side. And then it becomes 28.6 e to the power kn plus k which is 28.6 e to the power kn, e to the power k equals to 10. But again, note that 28.6 e to the power kn is just 15. To substitute it right here, wherever you see 28.6 e to the power kn, use 15. So this equation becomes 15 k, 15 e to the power k equals to 10. Well, it means that e to power k is 10 divided by 15, where k is ln of 10 divided by 15, or 2 thirds. Use your calculator, and it's approximately negative 0.4055. So basically, e to power negative 0.4055 n is equal to 15 divided by 28.6. We're just using this equation here. You already know what k is. Plug in k here and then divide everything by 28.6 e to power kn because 15 over 28.6. Well, it means that negative 0.4055 n is equal to ln of 15 divided by 28.6. Take the ln of both sides to get rid of this e for exponential function. Now, solving for n, n is about. 1.6. After 1.6 hours elapsed before the body was found. 